Be me, 27. My little sister is 22. One time growing up, I caught her watching Brother Hentai. Fast forward to yesterday. She walked into my room while I was raging at CS2, and she said it was cute when I was angry. Confused.jpg. Fast forward to today. I'm gaming. She came into my room and kissed me on the back of my head. What the fuck? Didn't hear her enter because gaming. Ask her what she's doing in my room so often. She asked if I've ever had lewd thoughts about her. Say no. Yell at her for acting weird. She kisses me. She really forcefully kisses me. My mom walks in at that moment. What are you yelling about, Anon? She sees us kissing. Start crying, saying we are terrible kids. Sister starts yelling at her. Starts furiously trying to kiss me more in front of her. My face win. Is it bad that I want to fuck my sister? Be me. Live with my mom and brother. Secretly femboy. One day, look at the spot where I hide my clothes. Clothes aren't in the same order I put them, and two pair of high socks disappeared. Ask my mom. She doesn't know anything about it. I also had to explain that I'm not a f- and I just like women's clothes. My brother has a history of sexual depravity. He's the only one who could take the socks. Now I can't even look him in the eyes, and it's so uncomfortable to be with him. And also, he's my coworker. I'm really scared of thinking about it, what he could do with them. What should I do? Guys, me and my sister did the 23andMe, and it turned out me and my sister aren't related at all. We both speculated she was adopted, and we started flirting, and we're having sex within the week. A few months pass, and our mom catches his fucking mid-orgasm. She spazzed out and started crying, told dad, and started vomiting. I told them that we know she was adopted, and the 23andMe proved it. My mom said she wasn't adopted between sobs. I contacted 23andMe support, and apparently, we got the results of someone else. I went to move in with my dad, and I'm not allowed contact with my sister anymore. My sister is freaking out over the fact she fucked her bio brother. I still want to keep fucking her, though. Do I have a lawsuit here against 23andMe? I feel like they are at fault here. What the fuck just happened? Be me, 18, last year of high school. Kissless, hugless, handholdless virgin. Been talking to these two girls. School prom is coming up. I mentioned, I don't think I'm going to go. I have nobody to go with. Sad PNG. Both of them say, want to come with me? But dump dot gif. Then they look at each other and start arguing. I thought they were joking around. Ha ha, why don't you both come with me then? They stop for a second. Sure. Turns out they are serious. What the fuck? I'm a kissless, hugless, handholdless virgin incel, and I've always been rejected by girls. I think they are trying to humiliate me. I'm scared, bros. Succession star Sarah Snook says producer told her to stop eating cake. Damn, being an actor is a tough gig. Be woman. Life on tutorial mode. Literally just don't get fat and you can do anything you want. Get fat. Complain. Be me. At Dick's Sporting Goods. Look at $200 binoculars. Buy a cheap $5 gadget and check out. As I'm leaving, some poor fat boomer starts having a heart attack. The teenage wages behind the counter start freaking out. They literally have to Google how to perform CPR. They still don't know how to do it right. They aren't pressing down hard enough. I try to step in and tell them I have a CPR certified card. What good is that in a situation like this? My face when they make me leave. The fuck? Be me. Obese 5'9 manlet. Hire amateur photographer from local Facebook group to take photos of me looking obnoxiously wealthy. Tell him I'm a rapper and I need to show off. Take photos while inside the Carlton Ritz lobby and next to some fancy sports car at this parking garage. In reality, use the photos to set up an IG page. Hire some Jeet from Fiverr to set up bots to like and follow my page. The rest of my IG page is uploading other people's IG pics from their vacations and fancy meals. Start messaging random women. Managed to collect dozens of nudes and even had sex with some of them. It's 2024. Why aren't you fraud maxing? Be me. Have a friend. He likes Tekken. I like Tekken too, but I practice with a particular character. I don't play her against others because she's a female character. We play Tekken together. Wow, dude. You're so bad at this. I could literally beat you with any character. For the next round, he picks the character I use. I chuckle. What are you laughing at? I say nothing and pick the same character. I win easily. Bro, that's crazy. How did you do that? I respond with a smirk. Maybe you should pick a character you're more familiar with. He does, and I pick my character again. I win, but then something unexpected happens. Well, it makes sense you'd win with her. I bet you want to look like her, too. I blushed uncontrollably, and he stared at me. What did life mean by this? Be me. First day at college classes. Be in biology class. Talking about sexual behaviors. The teacher starts talking about gypsies. The teacher talks about how gypsies fight each other to get the babes in the caravan. I have pierced ears and was known for having a schizophrenic breakdown when I threatened a guy. I look like a gypsy. I have acted like a gypsy. Several other guys turn and look at me. Hear whispers. Hear one of them laugh. 
Swear to God, if one of them calls me a pikey, I'm gonna bash his fucking skull in. Glad I'm on anti-anxiety meds, otherwise I probably would have threatened the guy who laughed in the class. Be me. Straight male. Cosplay rarely. A cosplay femboy on IG starts DMing me. He ends up inviting me to a con this weekend at his hotel room because I didn't have a place to stay. Saturday, the con is fun, until the after party I ended up having 15 shots of Jaeger, then getting blackout drunk. Forget everything that happened that night. Wake up in bed with him, laying his head on my chest. Tell him about how I can't remember anything. 30 minutes later, he sends me a DM. We had sex last night, by the way. Lost my virginity by being ripped by a femboy for a free hotel room. Parents divorced at 13. Hated being a child. Bullied in elementary. No friends until his mid-teens. Couldn't read. Took steak knives to school and used his fellow students as fucking dartboards. How did he not become a fucking school shooter? Be me, shy guy in college. Notice a girl in my class who's always alone. Decide to be brave and strike up a conversation. Start talking, she's really nice. We become steady buddies and hang out often. Feelings develop, think maybe she likes me too. One day she invites me to her place for dinner. Excited that gift. Get to her place, it's all candles and romantic ambience. Think it's a date. She hands me a plate and says, thanks for coming. My boyfriend will be here soon. My face when I've been friend zoned into a dinner date with her and her boyfriend. 9-11 inspired Jared Way to start My Chemical Romance. MCR inspired Stephine Meyer to write Twilight. Twilight is the basis of E.L. James' fanfic that became Fifty Shades of Grey. The Fifty Shades film adaptation skyrocketed Dakota Johnson's career. Dakota Johnson called out Ellen on her show for lying about not being invited to her birthday, sparking the fire that started Ellen's downfall. 9-11 killed Ellen DeGeneres' career. Be me. Be neat for seven, almost eight years. Depression and anxiety. Live in childhood room at my parents' place. Start looking online for stuff to do. See commercial for security guards. Huh. Start checking it out. Find out there's a course in just a month. Sign up. Get my security guard license pretty quickly. Look for jobs. Local hospital hiring a guard. Apply. Get an answer within five hours. Go to interview. They hire me almost immediately as a night guard. Get the most chill job on the planet. Have my own chill corner in one of the hallways where the cute nurses take their coffee break. Get a comfy bed to chill in. Spend most nights just reading or watching YouTube, browsing INT. Sometimes toss out a drunken fool or junkie looking for drugs. Be me, 13. Get up for a glass of water at 1am. Living room pitch black, except the glow from a dull yellow lamp. Hear a voice calling my name. Anon. And pausing before calling again. Anon. Get a really weird sensation in my legs as I look around the room. I think, oh man, the schizophrenia is kicking in. Anon. And I notice the voice is coming from outside the window. Walk over to the window and the voice says, Good night, Anon. It was just my dad out in the yard looking at the stars. I paid a thousand gold to have a foursome with Shadowheart in my co-op playthrough with my girlfriend. And now she doesn't want to play anymore. What do? You can't call it a foursome if two dudes blasted your ass while she watched from a corner horrified. Should I start shoplifting? I mean from larger grocery and other chains. The system has fucked me. I do not have enough money to pay my bills. Couldn't go to college because it was too expensive. Cars on the verge of breaking down midwinter. Once that happens, I'm completely fucked. But maybe I could start shoplifting and selling things like razor cartridges or other small expensive items. I mean, what exactly is stopping me? Once every week, I can choose a random supermarket and steal $500 to $1,000 worth of merchandise and make more money in less time than what my fucking job offers.